Welcome, FNUSA57 here. Once again, I'm back on my Xbox Series X. We're bringing you another guide today. This one for the Going Dark achievement in the brand new Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty. But uh, what we need to do is complete the low profile mission. This is the Spec Ops or online only co op mission without triggering any alarms. Uh, so currently at the time of recording, when the game is technically not in full release, there is sort of a way that you can manipulate checkpoints and you can go loud for the first two objectives, then get both players killed and stealth the third objective and unlock the achievement. But that more than likely, considering it's the only beneficial thing to the players in the game, will most likely be fixed sometime soon. So, shout out to my friend Tara for helping me out with this, but we will be showing you how to do it without the save manipulation. So, classes don't really matter too much for this, but I do recommend that at least one person has recon. In order to unlock the recon class, you will need to gain at least one star, meaning you will need to complete a spec ops mission with the assault class, because having the snapshot pulse field Every 60 seconds is a godsend on this. And uh, there is no time limit, so you can take as much time as you want. It's not that you can't be seen, it's just that you can't trip any alarms. If you trip an alarm, it's game over. So we'll be running one recon, one assault. You do not actually have to extract to get the achievement. The achievement will pop a few seconds after collecting the third objective. Uh, there's going to be three places that we have to go to. Technically, it's possible to do this and also three-star the mission. It just depends on how lucky you get. So if you got really good luck in uh, winning lottery ticket, then sure, go for the three-star completion at the same time. If not, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. We're going to take our time in the beginning. You can skip the cutscene. It doesn't matter. And uh, we don't start with armor, so I'm going to drop armor. Uh, as far as weapons, I'm going to grab the M4 and keep my sniper. The M4 is just a little bit quieter, I think, than the RPK. Normally, I would take the RPK, but... Using radiation blockers. Those pills will give you some radiation protection. We're going to head to A, which is the armory, first. You could also go to uh, the comm center first and save the armory for last. It's personal preference, but we're basically going to go ABC. So armory, barracks, comm center. And I like to start with the armory for this one simply because arguably it's going to be the first hardest objective. The comm center is technically more difficult because of the number of enemies and the number of places that the objective can spawn, but the armory in order to pull this off is more annoying due to where you actually have to land. Honestly, A is just so damn annoying. We have to land right on top of the roof, take out three guards, and not be seen by the guards on the ground. One, two, I'm hearing a hit on your Geiger counter. Use it to get positive ID on the objective. Well, there she go. I'm still in, up in the fucking air. I was seeing a vehicle, I didn't want to drop down. Yeah, the vehicles. It's all RNG based. So I'll take that dude out right there. And then that should have them somewhat alerted. I and... exactly what they did last time. You have to go inside and shoot through the wall. <laughs> uh, RNG, oh, they're totally. like, what's going on? What's going on, George? I thought I heard something. They'll eventually the make their way up here. Thing will last the longer. Oh god. Usually they come out this door nice and single file, so you can just tap them in the head. They can find a dead body, 
but they just can't see someone die. Or have a bullet land anywhere near them that's not fatal. Um, Got like yard. two left. That could have been bad. Stick okay. to the mission. Focus on the, the objectives. Come, come on. on. Come Outside on. Come to the door. I want to come on up. Okay, that's like one more. In like 10 seconds, I can throw my recon. Thing. Yep, because, I mean, the footsteps are alright, but having the recon ability makes it so much easier. Like two seconds. All right. Oh my god! Did he go? Oh, he's right below us. Of course. Come on, come upstairs. Oh, let me just sit here. What? Just... If only my bullets could go through the floor. This is that RNG aspect I mentioned. We can push in, it, since that's the last guy left. He should come upstairs eventually. We also have to get through all of the laser traps without detonating any. Otherwise, that'll spook the guys outside. I'm about to throw it again. Alright, let's see where this dude is. Where's he at? Oh, he's still down. He's still downstairs. Alright, I don't think he's going to come upstairs, so I'm going to go for the lasers real quick. You have to go prone to get through these lasers. There's two separate rooms that, uh, it could possibly be in the objective. And it's in this one, which is nice. I'm not going to pick it up just yet. Now, in case you don't know how to get over these, you have to actually jump up on the sofa and walk across. We'll grab ammo. And then we want to get rid of that guard so that our checkpoint is without any enemies here. Do you have your recon ability yet, Tara? Not yet. Five seconds. Okay, almost. Okay, right now, I'm gonna throw it. Yeah, he's still there. Yep, he's in the same exact spot. And it's almost like he's out. He's almost outside the building. I think we'll have to leave him. That's fine. Uh, that'll be better. Leave him. So in case you get an enemy that does that, then we'll just grab the core, which is going to give us a checkpoint. Let's secure the others before you got to be careful because we need to get out of here without being spotted as well. The easiest way to do that is to come over to the far back side of the building. Just make sure there's no cheeky enemy that decides to be over here. And then parachute off the back corner of the building. And you can make it all the way pretty much over to these palm trees. Alright, so the big thing here is just sticking to the edge. The very edge of the map. Dodging the patrolling vehicle because why not? And then we'll just stick to the far left side of the map. We may have to dodge the vehicle. There's a patrol outside of B. There's a building you can hide in across the street from B. And, of course, the vehicle patrols the road right next to B. 
So if you're quick, you beat the vehicle. If you're slow, you don't have to deal with the vehicle. If you're medium speed, then you have to deal with the vehicle, but uh, you just hide from it. It's pretty easy. Once you've made it to the building, you have to go up the ladder and wait for your team. It's not the perfect thing. It is RNG based. So hopefully you have good RNG. We're going to be taking out a bunch of enemies in this skylight. I'm not even there yet. I, I see them. you. Take your time. The truck passed me up. This achievement's one of the most annoying ones because of the RNG element to it. But at least enemies can't climb ladders. One one, you are getting a reading on your Geiger counter. Use it to locate the objective. All right, let's try again. All right, so go ahead and drop the radar dome thingy. And then what I'll do is that could have been bad. The mission isn't to fight it. Get that guy. Can't quite get a good headshot on them. That should kind of spook the other enemies. And they'll eventually come walking in here. Oh, no. So nothing yet. Sounded like that was a little too close. They usually kind of come in from this door, but sometimes they come from the other door. And we're just going to have to slowly clear this building out from the skylight. All right, I'm about to throw it again. Right about now. And the rest of the enemies will be, they'll be alerted, but they won't be like actively hunting you. They're just going to kind of try to figure out what's going on and kind of waste your time. So it's up to you if you feel confident enough to jump in and fight them all or if you want to wait for them to eventually come up. Either way, it works for you. There's several different spawn warheads that uh, the uranium core could be in. So you really have to make sure that there isn't any enemies here but it looks like we're doing pretty good it's just a matter of waiting because otherwise you have to restart from the checkpoint and or restart the whole mission and that's just super annoying to be honest okay here we go all right let's see where these turkeys are now still chilling oh. all right i'm gonna drop in then no core in the first room. Enemies are all on the second floor, it looks like. Which is unusual. Usually they've been alerted, especially those dudes in the stairwell. Um, they said they're going to check this out, so I'm guessing they're coming up. Alright, we just have to be very careful with the two dudes in the stairwell. And there's a couple more spawn points for the uranium core in here, which I actually have the uranium core. So I'm going to wait for, I'm going to wait to pick it up just for a minute and see where these enemy are. I'm about to throw it now. Yep. Right on. One decided to come up. Where's the other ones? And they're, they're coming up. All right. Are you guys going to come up? Yes, no, maybe. You can take them out on the stairs if you need to. They'll probably come up eventually. They just really want to test your patience. <laughs> Uh, 
and you don't know how badly I want to go guns blazing. Technically, oh, yeah. it would be possible to grab the uranium core and then just like book it. But the issue is the exit is downstairs. So that means you'd have to go on like a ridiculously fast killing spree. And uh, that's not too easy. So let's see, where are these buggers? They're going to stay on the stairs. All right. All right. Um, just get rid of him then. That should cause the other guy to be like, hey, what happened to you, Fred? Okay. And get rid of him, which should cause Jimmy over here to uh, be like, what happened? Thankfully, they don't have night vision. So, boink, right in the back of the head. And Jimmy's out of the picture. That just leaves John. I wish the footsteps were a little louder in this game for enemies. They're loud for your teammates, but that should be the last enemy. I'm just going to kind of slowly creep down. I showed you where the core was earlier. Let me know when you have your ability, Tara. Get Got one it. last look. Want me to throw it? Yeah, let's make sure there's no enemies. Where are you at? Or where the last guy is, at least. Anywhere in the top floor is fine. Yeah. All right, so the building's clear. Our immediate area is clear. You can go oh, ahead and it. pick up the uranium core. Yep. There we go. Second objective with no alerts. Be very careful exiting the building because there is a patrol. There's two patrols and a patrolling vehicle, technically speaking. So all we want to do is just sneak our way out the back. There's a patrol in the road too. And then we're going to book it. And you can kind of like open your map and see how close to the edge of the map you are. But we're going to be running basically along the edge of the map. Not to die from going out of the playable area, but... And this will avoid the patrols in the town. Plus it avoids the car. Now, if you're super quick and you have like... God level RNG. Careful, car coming down the road. But uh, if you have God level RNG, you can do this in under 16 minutes. So you could three star the mission. I do not have God level RNG. Right here, another right vehicle. And then we're going to go to the water. Because the water will give us cover. And that will also put us away from the patrol that guards the bridge. As well as the enemies on the bridge. And this is where things get a little dicey. So there is a recon drone. I'm going to use it here. Because there's two different buildings that the core can spawn in. And there is a juggernaut in this area, oh, so... Oh, I just got achievement. Going dark. Okay, complete low profile without triggering any alarms. That is not when the achievement is supposed to pop, by the way. Uh, but, hey, at the start of the video, I did mention that this achievement is buggy as hell. So, not only is it difficult to do, but it's extremely buggy. Um... I'm going to continue to show you exactly what you need to do to check this last building. And when you check this last building, once you pick up the core, that is going to be when you actually get the achievement. So you can use your recon drone if you stay high enough um, to not be detected by the enemies. And then when you come up here, there's a whole massive patrol of enemies, plus there's a juggernaut. You can use your Geiger counter, and depending on how high the reading is right off the bat, will tell you if it is in this small building or if it's in the large building. So you're going to have the patrol of enemies that is going to walk up from the right side if you're too slow. 
last objective. If they have Alright, so it really depends if the achievement bugs out for you or not. If it does, you'll unlock it early. If it doesn't, you won't unlock it early. I'm going to still show how to get in here just in case you unlock it early. Um, if you unlock it early, you can get a... Well, you can just skip this. But if you don't unlock it early, then we have to get into these buildings while in stealth. It can spawn in the little building which is actually more difficult. It's the worst to get into. Or it can spawn in the big building. You can get a good idea which building it's in based on the Geiger counter. So avoid the patrols, avoid the guards on the roof, and the juggernaut. If it's in the big building, we can go ahead and get in the big building. And depending on where it is, you can start to take out a few enemies. Affirmative. But there's multiple different spawn points that it could be in. So we kind of have to, like, play this really carefully. Or just quickly grab the core if you see it. If it's in this big building, it's a lot easier to grab. But there's some enemies down here. You'll have a couple of seconds to grab it before they trigger the alarm you can kind of go like sneaky sneaky up here if it's in the spawn point up here and get the takedown we still need to secure that objective get back on target Try to so the grab the core as soon as you grab the core if you weren't like triggering an alarm then you'll get your achievement about 10 seconds after you grab that third core so best of luck to you guys that is where you are supposed to unlock the achievement at um, if you don't unlock the achievement at that point then you're pretty much going to have to restart the mission or you could get super lucky like we did and unlock the achievement early if you meet all of the unlock criterias and you did not get the pop-up for the achievement simply go to the official club for the game and then check your progress there because in the official club this does accurately display whether the achievements are unlocked or not hopefully that helps you out you do not have to actually exfil from the mission to unlock this achievement if you have any questions go ahead and leave a comment and if the video helped you out do me a favor smash those like and subscribe buttons for more content till next time stay frosty